The Bible says, whatsoever you desire when you pray, the desire, how strong is my desire, how strong is your desire, that is the difference. We're not here for games, we're not here for religion. We want Jesus. We want to experience him. We want to know him. We want to encounter him. John used to sleep in his lap. In Revelation, he felt like a dead man in his presence. That was the dimension of Jesus I'd never known before. There is too much of him. Isaiah saw him and he said, I'm undone. I pray that the hunger, the thirst will never leave us. Our prayers, our seeking will go beyond duty. It will stem from a place of real sincere desire, depth of hunger and thirst to know God. And it will never leave us alone. He's a faithful God. Praise the Lord. As I praise the Lord, Amen. the answer to all that we see today, the questions and every predicament around us is Jesus. The presence of Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. There's no other way. There is no other answer. It's Jesus. We have to give them Jesus. Praise Jesus. That must be our drive to all that we do. The Bible says certain Greek came and asked Philip, we want to see Jesus. We want to see Jesus. Because he is the solution. He is the answer. I pray that something has been imparted in your heart. Especially in the area of praying and calling on God. Heaven must kiss this nation. Praise the Lord. And there has to be a people who are passionate in all they do for him. I told you on Sunday, we must create an environment that does what? That sucks in the presence of God. There has to be a, a greed, a hunger, a thirst, a deep yearning. Not just saying words, it must flow from your spirit. When Jesus comes, like that song says, everything will be sorted out. I know he's here, but there's a dimension of his presence that sorts out every issue in our lives. That's what we are believing God for. Praise the Lord. We are not here for the sake of it. There is a need. David walked into the camp where for 40 days, Goliath, what was he doing? He was taunting the army of Israel. Abusing them, the way is your God. And for 40 days, 80 times, because the morning and evening, he would rise and challenge them, and they would run from him, they would run from him. 80 days of you, 80 times of humiliation, until a little boy walked into the camp. Then when Goliath came, he began to ask questions. Who is that guy? What shall be given to him, to a person who kills him? And his brothers began to rubbish him, in, and he said, isn't there? A cause. There is a cause to pray. The Goliath that has been embarrassing, taunting, bringing shame on your family, on this nation, must be brought down. And it is you and me. Are you hearing me? The carriers of God's presence. It took an anointing to bring down Goliath. It didn't take a well-armed army. It didn't take a well-trained army. It didn't take an experienced army. It took an anointed man of God. To bring down Goliath. And you are that man. You are that woman. Are you hearing me? We have to yield ourselves to the spirit. We are an answer. This is not a game. This is life. We are not just passing by. God has to do something in this land. That this nation will lift their eyes and cry. Jesus is Lord. You don't believe it. But that's what has to happen. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Are you hearing me? If that's not the reason, there are better things you can do on Tuesdays or Mondays or Wednesday. We are crying and seeking God Monday to Wednesday. Not for a car, not for a house. Thank God for those things. We want a mighty wave of God to sweep across this land. Our universities, our schools, our homes, everywhere. Are you hearing me? The answers are not laws from parliaments. The answers are not laws in school. I'm telling you, you cannot legislate morality. It will take the power of the Holy Spirit. To change the lives of 
I don't know how many laws they will enact will not change people. It is God's power that will change people. That's why we're crying and seeking God. Are you hearing me, church? Amen. The answer is Jesus. The answer is not parliament. The answer is who? It's Jesus. The answer is the church in every generation. He said, you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. So the state of the nation reflects the kind of church there is. But we refuse to be part of that backslidden church. We must get down on our knees and know that heaven is looking on us. Bishop, are you hearing me? We have an answer to give this nation. We are not here passing time. Others, let's go and sell shoes and be businessmen. Sell tomatoes and roast cassava on the roadside. Are you hearing me? You can sell a lot of kabbalagala if you start doing that business. We are not here for that. Amen. We mean business. I don't know whether you feel my heart.